My girlfriend Jordan and I love to watch shows and movies. We have all the streaming platforms and we've always loved watching the newest releases. Some of our favorites are Ozark, You, and Ted Lasso. But I think a lot of us can be realistic and say that within the last few years, the quality of shows and movies have really dipped. I have managed to find a game that's just a few years old that is so much more captivating than any show or movie that I have seen in years. Welcome to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Imagine playing a game like Grand Theft Auto, and in that game, you stumble upon an NPC. This NPC tells you that they own a movie theater and one of their biggest gripes with it is that people come see movies, but they can't stay awake during them. And he wants movies to be appreciated because he's very passionate about it. As this side story progresses, you come to realize that this is a mini game. And in this mini game, your character is struggling to stay awake during a movie. Your goal is to press the corresponding buttons in order to stay awake. This is exactly the kind of things that you're going to run into when you play Yakuza Like a Dragon. I downloaded this game because it's on PC Game Pass, and boy am I glad that I did. I've tried the regular Yakuza games before, and I liked them, but I couldn't get super into it, but that was not the case with this game. I wasn't really even planning on making a video about this game, but I absolutely need to because I am hooked and I need to share it with you guys. As someone who loves Japanese-made games and also turn-based games, I was very interested in this game. But that wasn't even what got me hooked. This is truly the best story that I have played in any video game. This video is going to be completely spoiler free other than this one side story that I showed you guys. But seriously, you should absolutely check it out. I love this game because at the end of the night, it's almost like it's a TV show that I can fall asleep to. There are actually some cutscenes that were over an hour long. But seriously, it's worth it. The storytelling is amazing. It is so humor filled. It's very well thought out. It's political, but not in, in like an annoying way, just in like a thought provoking way. This game was such a pleasant surprise and I'm so glad that I found it. The actual combat is some of my favorite in a turn-based game that I've played in a very long time. The exploration feels really fun. The pacing is really nice as well. It really introduces you to the side quest in a very slow way. It doesn't just throw a bunch at you at once. I can already really feel myself attached to these characters and on my drive to work today I found myself even just pondering about the story and reflecting on it on how good it is. I couldn't tell you guys the last time that I played a video game that did that. And I'm truthfully someone that likes playing a lot of mindless games where I'm not thinking too much that's not super story driven. But my goodness this is just top tier in any game that I've ever played. So definitely check this one out, especially if you have Game Pass. This is a no-brainer. Give this one a shot. Let me know what you guys think of this. Also, let me know if you guys like the other Yakuza games and if you think I should give those a shot and where I should get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.